The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to edit the header image for any template and in this case I'm going to be editing the image at pixlr.com so I'll show you how to do that. First I want to show you uh, what we've got on the uh, current header image. The image is here and you can see it's fairly large. There's a lot of white space, extra white space. You can see the height is 1143 pixels tall. So it's way too large to be used as a header image. And when I preview the website, you can see that it's so large that it's not all we're seeing is the top white. We're not even seeing the image uh, because what we're seeing is this area up here. Um, so it appears that there's no header image at all, but the browser is still having to download this large image, so it will impact the page load time. So we need to trim that down, crop it, and uh, we can also knock out the, the background in case this user ever decides to add a color behind this uh, image here. Then we can, we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I've got a extension into my Chrome web browser that will automatically allow me to right click on any image and edit it in Pixlr. You can install this extension yourself uh, if you are using Chrome. There's also a Firefox extension. Um, otherwise you could just open the image directly by URL by copying the image URL. You can open it directly in Pixlr that way. But this is by far the easiest so you can show, see that instantly it loads up. This is the Pixlr.com editor. Now the key with doing a transparent background in Pixlr is this background layer over here. If you see this lock you won't be able to uh, do anything with the background layer so you gotta unlock it. So double click that lock that'll unlock it puts a little check box, check box there and uh, now you can edit the background. So what we'll do first is go over here and grab this magic wand and then click in the white area and now that everything is selected, it's selected the white area of the background, I can just hit the delete key on my keyboard and you see that it becomes this checkerboard pattern and that symbolizes that the background is now transparent. So the next thing we want to do is resize the image to fit in the header. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of my templates have a 100 pixel default height on the header. You can extend that as as large as you'd like. In most of most all the templates will allow you to do that uh, via this um, setting here. I'm going to go back to the admin and show you this custom height setting. You can enter a custom height. In this case, we've entered 150 pixels. So that's what height I'm going to make this image. Uh, but I'm going to crop it first. So let me grab the crop tool and I'll just crop the extra dead space above and below the image off. So once I do that, I can just click the tool and it asks me if I want to apply the changes. Yes. So now I've got the image cropped fairly well and I'm going to go ahead and resize it. So I'm going to go image, image size and I'm going to resize it to 100 pixels. And you want to make sure this constrained proportions is still checked otherwise it'll skew the, the uh, image so it'll either look squashed or um, flattened. So I'm going to cha change this to 150 and it automatically adjusts the width accordingly. Click OK. Alright, now at uh, it's at 52% but I can extend this to 100 uh, closer to the actual size. It'll be in the um, in the browser so I can just say view actual pixels and now it's at a hundred percent so that's what it'll look like so I'm gonna go ahead and save this image to my desktop and I'm gonna save it as header and I'm gonna choose PNG because of the all, all the formats here the only one that supports transparency for the web is PNG JPEG is great for images that don't need background transparency but in this case we'll use PNG I'm going to save it and I'll save it to my desktop. <coughs> okay. And now we can go back into the website and I'm going to just say upload header, choose file, and I'll click on my desktop. And I can go grab that 
the image that I just saved and install it. Click apply. It'll refresh the screen here and when I open images now I see the header's been changed and I can actually see the background is transparent because it's showing the background here of the image area and uh, that's really all I have to do so I'm going to click apply changes and click back on the website and refresh now I've got the header image there so that's what you want to do uh, with the header image sizes